Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome to the channel. I hate to be Johnny freaking Rain Cloud, but guys, PvP is going to get zero love going into the year 2022. This was confirmed by Matt Fervor, Fiverr from the Elder Scrolls Online front page. We will read through that together and see exactly what he has to say about PvP or lack thereof. Before we get into the bread and butter, a huge shout out to my patrons and also my community members. Thank you guys for supporting me and the channel. I love y'all. I really do. So, again guys, this this is very disheartening. Um, this was pointed out to me in Discord by some beloved members of the ESO community. Will not mention names, but this is a post by Matt Fiore. Fiore, Fiore, I don't know. It sounds French, but... This is a kind of what the plans are going to look like going into 2022. So I will not read through this entire thing because quite frankly, it's a whole lot of BS that no one really cares about. So looking back, uh, this whole section here, guys, is just saying that, hey, the pandemic has been really tough on everyone. The Zoss team has been really, uh, let me read this. We are all doing well. ESO is doing well. ESO is doing well and we will move forward into 2022 but we are tired and anxious and I believe everyone will join me in the sentiment that the thing we wish for the most in 2022 is the world to return to normal yes I would love ESO to return to normal hence you know five six years ago here are some updates to items we talked about during 2020 so uh this is the crutch that they keep using this data center bs about why lag is so bad in pvp so this has been delayed by three to five months also COVID has pr provided you know is provided to them as a crutch to just delay the inevitable even longer i do believe that they are just on a managed decline and the devs are ready to cash out so uh, this is speculation, of course, that's me being an optimistic pessimist or, or a pessimistic optimist. I don't know. But one of our goals in 2021 was the uh, right ship. Uh, but when it came to major update launches and with our focus on stability and bear launches, we succeeded. I do not agree with this whatsoever. Okay, this is back from Grave War. So this is just them praising themselves uh, for the accomplishments that they have done. They have put some pretty decent items in the game. You know, classes, chapters, you know. It's all pretty immersive and pretty nice. Um, so we get down to looking forward. This is the the section that um, got me fired up yet again. I'm still calming down after my rant on Rich Lambert exploiting new players. You know, just just, just laughing about it. So uh, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, uh, link will be in the top right hand corner of your screen, also down in the description. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this. Looking ahead to 2022, we will continue to do what we do best. Tell great stories and keep the ESO train running. This is exactly what the Zoss team, the Web team, have been amazing at doing. I will give them kudos. They tell the greatest stories I have ever heard in any game. No, not lore. We're not talking about lore, guys. I think you guys get that from the condescension. This is they are true storytellers at scapegoating and procrastinating and not listening to the community this is what they do guys they tell great stories this is the past few years this has been the story of zoss and it gets worse they're going to continue to do so they even tell you in print this is what they're going to continue to do so let's uh, let's go and keep reading our content plans will be to back off major plots with end of world invasions, blah, 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 you know, keep the political intrigue and factional fighting. Okay, some some lore junkie stuff. That's cool. Uh, here's Squirrel Deep Dive. So they're going to work on more lore stuff. I mean, that's fine. Uh, more will be revealed in January's reveal. Cool. We will also, with the understanding that some of these things are out of our control, keep working on refreshing data centers hardware as quickly as we can. Excuse me? What do you mean out of your control? This is your game. Why are there parts of your game that are out of control to the developers? I would love for someone to enlighten me on this because I am thoroughly confused by this statement. 
this th this whole sentence here is just a load of BS. You have control of everything in your game, and if you don't, well, I it's not it's not your game now, is it? This, so stop taking credit for the the good. Take credit for the bad as well, which you guys are really good at storytelling. This will result in more stable platform experience for all of you. Notice that there is no ETA, there's no roadmap, there's no nothing. And of course, we'll be continuing to work on performance, stability fixes, and tweaks in every update. Okay. So, no update. As I said above, we are... And this this takes the cake. This, this is what got me fired up after reading this. As I said above, we are prioritizing the wellness of our developers above everything else right now. I'm gonna let this sink in. Yes, we all have families. The pandemic's been going on for way too long. And for them to right out say, you know, maybe I'm looking a little too hard in this. Maybe I'm speculating too much, but the wellness of our developers are everything else right now. This leads me to believe that the devs are worried about cashing out and doing things to benefit them, not us. If you can't handle the stress on streaming, if you cannot handle the community feedback, then leave, resign, quit, elect someone who can. Elect the right person for the right job, okay? This, this is not okay. This is an excuse for bad developers to continue to be bad. This is, this is not cool. So we will be flexible when needed. I, I don't even know what to say yet again. I'm speechless. I'm not going to edit this out. This is just my raw reaction to reading this. And yeah, so uh, let me finish reading here. We have been operating at a high level of efficiency. Oh God, I, I got to I didn't even read this. A high level of efficiency. Okay. Leap bug's been in the game for several years. Serial has been broken for uh, even longer, four or five years. Super efficient. You guys are very efficient at the crown store. Your artist team is on point, not gonna lie. You guys are doing an amazing job at exploiting and preying on new players, like kudos to you guys. Now, when it comes to the whole engineering standpoint, I have an engineering background. Why aren't you hiring people like me? I've applied, my application is there. You guys have it. Why aren't you hiring more engineers? I see the job postings and let, let me answer my own question. You're not hiring any engineers because no one wants to work for you. The reputation of this company is terrible right now. And it's it's beyond repair in my opinion. So even if you did accept my application at this point, I, I probably would decline it to be honest. High level efficiency and productivity these last seven years since launch. But the overall health of the Zoss team is a paramount importance to us. So essentially they need a little bit more money for the holidays. Um, there's there's no health. Like, the pandemic's been going on for well over a year. Like, if you haven't adapted to it by now, then something's up. Again, using COVID as a crutch to get away with whatever they've been doing, just prolonging the inevitable. And as he quoted earlier, keep the ESO train going. I'm not sure what that is but at the top, but they are great storytellers and they will keep the train going. Absolutely. They will milk you for everything you are worth. And then when they cannot milk you anymore, uh, they're going to Audi 5000. So... That's just my opinion, of course. Complete speculation. Please keep it co positive down in the comments. Everyone is titled to their opinion. But by reading this, this is what I see. And I think 85% of people also reading this sees the exact same. So if it looks like a duck, sounds like a duck. We're still going to have our usual high quality quarterly content. And we'll continue telling amazing stories. Yes, I'm sure you guys will. I no doubt in my mind. This is one fact that I will take from this that you guys will do very well. But we just may need to be a bit more selective with how we focus our efforts this coming year. You think? You think, Zaz. Preying on new players in the crown store is not a good idea. Who would have thought? Maybe this approach isn't the best way to revitalize and retain your player base in ESO. Who would have thunk it? Wrapping up, obviously, simply thanking you, the community is to, and the obviously, simply thanking you, the community is severely understanding your impact on ESO and on Zoss. They, 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 
We could have read that a little bit better. You are part of us. Um, your money is a part of them in every sense of the word. Without you, there is no Elder Scrolls Online. And we start each day, every day at work with this in mind on how to micromanage and put microtransactions into the game. We are amazed at the success we've had. I'm sure you guys have made a lot this year and understand that and understand that you are the reason for it. Please stay healthy in 2022. Enjoy the new content or very lack thereof, I am predicting, and continue to find solace in our wonderful virtual world as needed. Happy holidays. I think I speak for everyone. Here's to a happier and healthier 2022. Matt and the ESO development team. Really good post, Matt. I, um, I thoroughly enjoyed this. This says nothing for us as the player base who are the spine of your entire company. I, I would imagine that you would have more good news for us instead of patting the, the piggy banks of the ESO dev team and crushing on COVID as an excuse to not fix what is going on with your game and claiming that you do not own certain parts of your game so therefore you can't fix them is a load of bullshit. I love this game guys but um, I will continue playing it obviously but th this, ju this just goes to show you that um, everyone gets Rich Lambert a hard time right? But I feel that this goes to show you that the entire dev team is like this. They don't care about the well-being of the player base. It's the well-being of their jobs and their families and how they best benefit. And if it doesn't benefit them, then to hell with you. Again, just my opinions. Not very constructive, but I think my opinions are well warranted and deserved. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Am I being too hard on this post? Am I just overreaching and reacting to something that I'm reading between the lines on? Maybe I'm overanalyzing this post. Uh, let me know what you guys think. The link to this uh, is on the webpage. I'll also leave it in the description of this video. So uh, this has been Horcrux. Yeah, I really don't have anything closing besides I love my community. And if there's anything I can do to help you guys out, to help you in game, whatever, just let me know. I want to make ESO great again, despite the devs just wanting to make their wallets big again. So that being said, you guys have a great day. Peace.